President Donald Trump says that the U.S. military is ready if North Korea takes any foolish action following his decision to pull out of planned talks next month. Our military is ready if necessary, Mr. Trump said Thursday at the White House, before continuing to say that the summit cancellation is a great setback for the world and bragging about greatly enhanced military power that the U.S. and its allies have. Likewise, I have spoken to South Korea and Japan and they are not only ready should foolish or reckless acts be taken by North Korea, but they are willing not shoulder much. At the cost of any financial burden, any of the costs associated by the United States in operations, if such an unfortunate situation is forced upon us, he continued. Mr. Trump also expressed hope for North Korea's future. Hopefully positive things will be taking place with respect to the future of North Korea, Mr. Trump said. If they don't, we are more ready than we have ever been before. North Korea has the opportunity to end decades of poverty and oppression by following the path of denuclearization and joining the community of nations, and I hope that Kim Jong-un will ultimately do what is right not only for himself but perhaps, most importantly, what's right for his people who are suffering greatly and needlessly, Mr. Trump said. Mr. Trump's decision to withdraw from the summit has left American allies and politicians with the tough task of determining how the president would like to proceed regarding North Korean nuclearization and missile testing. It also would appear to greatly reduce the chance that the Trump administration will be able to reach a peaceful agreement with Pyongyang that would lead to North Korea's abandonment of its nuclear and missile programs. It is not clear exactly how much input the Trump administration may have sought from South Korea or Japan before announcing the withdrawal from the summit. South Korea presidential spokesperson Kim Yui-Kyeom said in a statement that the country's officials are actively seeking to determine what the announcement means. We are attempting to make sense of what precisely President Trump means, he said. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who is testifying to Congress Thursday, refused to comment on whether Mr. Trump's letter had blindsided South Korean officials. Mr. Pompeo had met with Kim Jong-un twice. A statement from the Pentagon following Mr. Trump's letter, which cited tremendous anger and open hostility displayed by North Korean officials as the reason for withdrawal, said that the U.S. will continue its maximum pressure campaign against North Korea. Tom Kalina, who has worked with the Obama, Bush, and Clinton administrations on nuclear non-proliferation, told The Independent that Mr. Trump's decision to pull out of the summit makes little sense, and that his saber-rattling does not send much of a message to the North Korean regime that they don't already know. It's kind of mindless boasting. Everyone knows the U.S. has a large nuclear arsenal and a large military force, Mr. Kalina, the director of policy at the Plowshares Fund, a foundation that supports initiatives to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons, said.